yo what is going on youtube it is og and today we are just going to be reacting to kind of the finals of the first world cup qualifiers that happened over the weekend so the finals are clash and psg esports two really good teams um clash coming from spain and then psg esports is southeast asia so i think they have two japanese or no two singapore and one japanese but um I watched the games when I was like kind of like half asleep, so I didn't get to like really take them in. So this is like, it's not my first time watching, but it's my first like time really appreciating the games. Um, I'm not really going to try being too critical. I'll just like kind of, I'm sure I will be a little critical, um, but it's like really easy to just kind of like go over games and like analyze everything after then just like reacting in the moment. So they're all like really good players, really talented people. Um, so, you know, just take everything I say lightly. I try, I'll try not to be too critical, but it's hard not to when you just like see stuff. So, um, anyways, we'll see how it goes. So they're starting off on Sandy Gems. Yeah, let's get into the games. All right guys, so game number one, um, you can see their comps pretty similar. They both have Max and Rico, which are both like really spammy and really good at taking down tanks. The only difference in their comp is that PSG went with a Brock and the Brock's kind of going left side. I guess he wants to like open up the mid and just get a clear shot on their safe. And then PSG went with like a more traditional kind of a bull. Bull, he's just so good in like heist, so you'll see him all the time. But they both have really um, pretty much typical comps. I think like Max and Rico are just the standard here right now. And they're both going to use speedy Rico. You can just see Chaos doing work right there. But Ku plays it well and he does manage to stay alive. So Gijay has the Rage on, I think just anticipating these comps, I would have taken the shield myself, but he's a he's a better tank than me, so I'll trust his judgment here. And you can see Mune is doing a really good job. By the way, I'm pretty sure Mune is just subbed in for the finals, and I've watched it before, and he played really well, so really good decision to put him in. Not that Trevor wouldn't have played well too, but he played really well in the finals, and just in general. And you can see Chaos winning that trade there and getting a super off on the save. So right now, um, it's kind of... Not one team has really like gone out to a really dominant lead or anything. So they're kind of just like fighting for mid control and GJ is going to go down a little bit. It is really hard to play bull into like spammy comps like this, especially with all the walls and like the speed. Um, you just got to like pick your battles, I guess. But he does have his super, so he's going to be looking to get on the safe. And you can just see he gets pinched really hard and Rally's going to get a really good super off and that's going to open up the safe for Jordan. And they're going to do a ton of damage there and Rally's still alive. For now, um, I, I think I jinxed it. Yeah, he's going to go down, um, but they're in a really good place with 40 seconds left. So they just got to like kind of hold out. But GJ is going to get a super off and he'll break open that mid. <sighs> I don't even know if he got any damage there. Um, they have really high DPS comp, so it's going to be hard for him to do a lot, like I said earlier. But Rally is just going to break open the walls. So 37% to 72. They should be able to hold on here and just kind of like bend a little bit they got to make sure they don't feed chaos too many supers and oh okay gj's on the safe that's actually gonna be really tough i think they yeah they're gonna lose this gj got on the safe and as long as oh it's really close 37 33 they can just body block this though yeah they'll just body block and they are gonna take the first game because of that one push so really well played by gj um psg kind of had the wrong matchup at the end there they should definitely had the max or the rico on the bull but brock kind of got stuck on it but really close game and really exciting game number one all right guys game number two so you can see this time instead of the bull uh gj definitely had difficulties getting through the bull even though he did do a really good job on that last push um he did feed a lot of supers not his fault it's just the pick into the comps so he's gonna go with bow here um which Kind of like a middle ground it's high dps and you can get the mines on the safe so typically you want a wall break they didn't want to choose brock for whatever reason i think brock is a pretty decent pick into rico and max um but it is kind of difficult to get your super against a speedy rico and speedy max so you got to be good at hitting your shots you see chaoso doing work there and coop kind of wastes his super gj is going to get those mines off on the safe so they should just dodge walk around the safe but coop's going to walk right into it and just trigger another mine um a little unnecessary and we saw how close the game was last time so like every bit of damage matters <sighs> muniz is going to do a really good job i remember this play he outplays both of them 476 hp and just gets to run safe and does a good amount of damage and stays alive so a lot of people would just like suicide there but he realizes that mid control is more valuable than just like a few percent so he's going to stay alive and that's just going to give his team like a chance to set up here and they've been doing a really good job just kind of keeping rally on lock i think he's only had one super this game and they're kind of 
playing very well with like pinching lanes and stuff you're just gonna get another super up on safe so the only downside to the bow mines is someone has to trigger it and they're just walking over his mind it's kind of like uh, it's so avoidable and like i feel like they should know that but they're gonna like trigger 4k of damage again uh just from not taking a bit of a longer path through but psg is gonna do some good offense here and they'll actually like take the lead momentarily um i'm not sure how long it'll go on rally's doing a good job just like getting some damage off on safe and you can see how good that incendiary star power is so just like that they do take a pretty commanding lead but they have to be careful here because um just like what we saw last time coop's gonna waste a super chaos is gonna get taken down giji gets mines on safe hopefully they learn their lesson and don't okay yeah coop's gonna walk around the mines this time i think jordan walked over one actually yeah he did um but they still do have the lead like really really like close though five percent and i think they'll be able to hold on to this one just because of the positioning of everything right now and rally's gonna get through on the safe we'll shoot the wall once but coop is gonna get some damage off on the safe and they can finish it here rally needs one more shot on and they're good and another really close game but psg is gonna take that one all right guys game number three um so it's tied 1-1 right now and you can see this time gj is gonna go over on the brock which i think it's a really good pick obviously it's gonna be hard to get your super but when you do get your super and we saw how much damage that incendiary did last game so gj is already off in a really good position he has to be careful though about staying on the lane just because he will get matched up with the rico who can obviously bounce shots and just take him out pretty easily but he just kind of wants to like hang around in the mid and usually if your team um the other team doesn't have a brock you do want to like just break the mid open but there's both they both have brock so it's kind of like wasting a super i guess for like doing the same amount to both teams and gj is going to use the super really well on the safe there and just break all the walls open that's going to be huge for his team um and you can see they're already up almost by like 50 percent so psg is really struggling in this game coop is going to get a few shots off but it's only five percent and they are in really good positioning right now so Riley's going to get a super off and that's going to be huge for his team nice super from jordan there it's going to manage to take out gj but um you know clash is still in a pretty good spot i think chaos is doing work on that rico he's gonna take oh he jukes jordan super that was actually really well played by chaos um and coop's just trying to do all that he can he'll take out gija here but he needs to be careful muniz is gonna go there and finish him off and they're down by a little over 30 percent um there's still a minute left so anything can happen and honestly at this point if i could get my super as rally i think i just break open the mid because you do need to make some outplays happen and just the rico has been shutting them down really hard all game i think he'll pick up another kill here on rally Ooh, okay he just manages to stay alive really close um jordan needs to make sure gj doesn't get too many shots off i'd honestly just tank those shots if i knew i was staying alive um unlucky he does get taken out and that's gonna be the game for sure yeah so gj is gonna go on he put in a lot of work that game on brock and clash is gonna take a 2-1 lead in heist all right guys game number four this could be the last game if clash does win it. it is first to three wins um so we're gonna see them both using the same comps again i definitely think just with the comps that they've been showing that these are definitely the best comps that they can play with and with the mr p ban as well so i'm pretty sure both teams ban mr p by the way um i kind of missed the banning part but you can see gj just doing work on the side coop kind of auto aims there and misses a shot but he'll take him out it didn't really affect too much just gave gj one extra shot for his super but psg is going to do their own offense here and gj kind of misses his super and oh okay we'll get a split screen view here wow this is this is pretty nice good job uh, esl and <laughs> okay psg doing a really good job here Clash manages to defend though. I don't know what screen to look at. So much action. Anyways, um, they're going to be up by 20%. A minute and a half left. There's no way this game goes the whole time. Gija is going to open the safe up. But nice super from Chaos. Really good synergy here. Muniz is going to outplay Coop and take him out. And I think, yeah, Clash can finish here. So the big thing there was Muniz taking out Coop. And they all just barely stay alive. And they're going to take the high set. Okay guys, so Clash is going to take the first high set. Next up, we're on some assembly required. Um, and okay, so Sandy is definitely not banned. We're seeing two Sandys right now. I feel like you could have like brought Sandy out in the last map, but maybe the teams weren't comfortable with it. And you can see PSG off to a really good start. They'll get full mid control here and Coop just manages to stay alive. Um, I kind of like... Alright. Personally, I like PSG's comps better here, but... It's going to be hard for them to do damage. 
that's like the only downside to their comp. Like Sandy is gonna have to be the damage healer, and Sammy did, or Sandy did go down there, so they're not gonna get any damage here. They do have mid control um, and a fresh Sandy super, so that's gonna be really big for them. If Coop can hit a pull here, that'd be really nice. Um, but the tick is gonna be a nuisance. It's not gonna be too impactful. I feel like Barley would have done a bit better, even though they do have a gene which kind of counters Barley. Um, Barley just fares so much better against like Sandy and Rosa, but obviously they didn't know each other's comps going into it. And Tick with the damage buff, he is a pretty safe pick now in Heist or Siege. Sorry, um, but you can see it's pretty even right now. I think this one should be a draw. No, it's okay. It's gonna go to Clash, which is I think that's really good for PSG actually. So as long as they can get back to mid control, Coop is gonna need to get his super and like. All right, the Rosa went down. That's bad. So. If Coop gets a super, I think I just tough this damage out, and they do have Sandy super, so that's one way to get back into mid. And he's gonna use it too early. I would have, I would have waited for my team there. Um, six to two. Relly does have super two. That's really big. So if Coop can get a pull here, they should be fine. Relly's gonna get one bolt. Fifteen seconds left. If they get some good bolt spawns, they'll be okay. Coop's gonna pull Muniz. Nice pull, and that's gonna enable them to get this bolt. Or er, it should be able to. It depends on the spawns, but yeah. Okay, no, no, they're good. They're, they're good for sure. So they got to do 68%. Um, Clash doesn't have the most defensive comp, but they do have Max, which just literally melts a bot. And their Sandy's going to go down. That's actually really big. So the only way they can do damage now, Coop's not going to do any damage pretty much. Um, I don't I don't like that pull from Coop. It's just going to like allow them to spawn in with in invincibility at like a good time. Um, and they really need to get Jordan to do some damage. 68 68 oh the sandy supers on the safe though i remember this it's gonna take it down by one percent two percent um really close games there bsg just got through i feel like they definitely had the better comp but it was just the sandy kept dying on the pushes so they didn't get like a lot of damage so it was kind of bad for them but they did manage to get the win which is all that matters in that okay guys game number two um PSG is going to be sticking with their comp, and you can see Clash is going to switch it up. They'll add a Gene, which Gene's just so good for mid control, and honestly, that's a lot of what Siege is nowadays. So they're going to get PSG is going to get clapped first off. Um, Rally's going to do a good job trading there and building up his super, but they're going to lose the first spot, which really big, especially with comps like these. Yunus is going to manage to stay alive, which is really good. He's been playing so well on Max. Um, so really good call from their coach to put Muniz in. I think he played really well the entire match. Um, and they should be able to get a bit of damage here. Not a huge amount, but the main thing is they have mid control. They're not even going to go for any damage. I would have gone for a bit of ship shots, but 5%. Um, it's, it's not much. It's not much. PSG is going to have their supers, and Chaos does miss his pull, which is really big. Oops going to hit a really good pull on Gije. And that should enable them to get a few bolts. And they won't win this one, but it'll like help them out on the last one a little bit. Relly's gonna auto aim and just miss Muniz a bit. Oh, that that hurts a lot. That would have been kind of game changing. Um, you can see Jordan just shooting through walls because he's Sandy and it's a stupid brawler. But <laughs> you know, if that one play Muniz got taken out, they definitely would have been able to get a few more bots. I think there's there's like no way they win this at this point. I don't think unless like Clash like really throws. Um, Jordan's gonna get taken out. I probably, yeah, I mean, the genie would have poked him out anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and what was that pull, Coop? That pull was very questionable to say the least. Rally, Rally's just gonna give him super here. He's it's not his fault. Um, his teammates kind of they didn't go in as a unit, they're just gonna get picked off. And yeah, th this game's over already. Clash literally dominated the entire thing, they got two bolts the entire time so far maybe it'll pick up a third here just so it doesn't look yeah they'll get a third bolt but <sighs> you're not gonna win any <laughs> siege games with three bolts so it was like that there are a few like micro plays i noticed um just the beginning where they both died that was really bad and then that one play where Mina's just managed to get out as well um and then it was probably already over but coop had a really weird pull on the robot like pulled it like one tile um, so I would have just taken the damage from the extra tile, but it's not really gonna matter too much um, So you can see both these comps are they don't really have much offense. It's just like mid control um, That's why we're not getting any like 100 O's, but clash is gonna take the second game
Okay, guys, game number three. Uh, it's 1-1 right now. Clash is up 1-0 in sets from the heist. And they're going to get off to... PSG is going to get off to a much better start this time. So they will take it out. and uh, take a teammate out on Clash there. And they're going to get a nice Sandy Super 2, which should enable them. Yeah, they're going to get all the bullets in the first round, which is really big. They don't even need to do much damage here. Rally's going to get some good shots off on DJ too. They'll just take him out. But... um. Like I said, it's all about mid control with the comps that they're running. So as long as like they can like hold it down for most of the game, they'll be fine. They can get a few chip shots here, um, which is what you want to do. They're actually going to do. Wow. OK, 50 percent. That's really big. A lot more than I expected. Um, Ash didn't really defend that well at all, but Hoop's going to hit a really nice pull too. Wow, that was a good pull um, and they can hopefully no he's just going to take them out. Yeah, unfortunately, Coop ran back into that for him, but Good shot from GJ, um, and Rally's gonna get taken. So they kind of, yeah, they threw there, and that's gonna give up mid control. Clash is gonna get this bolt or this bot 100% now, and they just they didn't use the max super well. They kind of got too close, and I don't. It's hard. Like like I said, I'm not trying to be too critical. It's just hard when like all this stuff's happening live. Obviously, it's easier for me to like just dissect it afterwards and just like critique it. But live at like a LAN event where you're like standing up, like it's like very difficult. Um, so they're all playing really well right now. It's just a few micro plays that I'm like e able to point out for you guys. Um, Hoop does have his super, so he's gonna need to make something happen with that. Um, but he's kind of, since his teammate went down, he's really out of position now. Gija can just go finish him off really easily, and Flash is just gonna dominate. It. What lost them the game here was. That one max super they used and then they kind of ran into gj's shot and i mean it's not over yet they did really good damage and if they can take out the sandy here i think oh they did take out the sandy if they can get the max too then they could definitely win but they don't really have the best defense they need the max on this bull or robot right now and they need a sandy super and coop did get his pull but no they're gonna lose um i think they're gonna lose yeah they'll definitely lose maybe are they gonna lose do it yeah, okay, no, they, they lost, they lost for sure. So this is 100-0, um, it should be. Okay, Chaos is gonna stop shooting, but they probably could have 100-0'd it, and Flash is gonna take a pretty solid lead over them in Siege. Okay guys, um, game number four, if Clash does win this, ni nice kill right there, um, PSG getting a little too aggro, Coop should just pull, yeah. So he'll get taken out, um, but they will take out Muniz as well, and Relly's doing a really good job. Oh, can you get that outplay? No, I don't think we did. Okay, the, he'll stay alive, which is really good though, and that's gonna enable Jordan to get this one, and they are gonna go up the first robot, which first robot, when you're using comps like these, is really crucial. Um, it just kind of like sets the pace for the game. See Relly doing really good damage on the robot, and I don't know if I would've <sighs> It's hard, because him dying there, it's gonna like, he'll come back invincible but it's gonna give them all supers. And nice pull from Coop though. Coop's been doing really well with his gene pulls. Besides that like one where he pulled the robot like literally like one feet and Chaos is gonna pull him. That's not a good pull, obviously you can see why. Um, but his teammates are gonna do a pretty decent job. Nice nice kill from GJ there using the Sandy super really well. Coop knows he's there, but oh Coop, what are you doing? No, that's not, that's not where you wanna be there. Um, but they will get this robot and it's gonna be tough because Clash now they can defend this too. Clash has a really strong lead, six nothing. So I'd go for some chip, but they all need to be alive and like just at the top here, like spawn trapping. So Chaos is gonna use his pull for defense. No, don't don't super then. Why would you super then? Okay. Um. So he did use his Sandy Super so early. He could have zoned them off so well with that, but he's gonna pretty much waste his Sandy Super. Riley's gonna do a good job. Gija's gonna get his Super now. That yeah, yeah. I can't see them winning the the Sandy Super was just really early. Um. Coop's gonna get auto him down. Pull. Ooh, nice. Good play from Coop. Coop's been playing really well this game. Um. But that Sandy Super, I think, lost him the game. To be honest, he used it way too early. It's gonna pull uh, i would have saved it for the robot but i guess they lost at this point already like gija has super um so just a few like little plays is what cost them the set i think they definitely outplayed them a few games and they just didn't really execute well but this will be not 100-0 but pretty pretty convincing win against 
PSG and they are gonna be up two nothing in sets now okay guys um the third set now so clash has been playing super well so has PSG they've just been making like a few more mistakes but you know, all, everyone's been playing really well. Um, Clash has had really good synergies. So Brawl Ball is both, I know both these teams love Brawl Ball. So it's hard to say that like one team is better just if I had to guess, but you can see Clash doing a really good job and this is gonna be a goal for sure, yeah. EJ is on his signature tower. EJ is a crazy tower, probably the best tower in the game. Um, so they're gonna get off to a really good lead and he already has his super. Um, they're gonna use the max super. But Gijay is gonna try sneaking around. He'll get like a nice double pull there. Really good. Gijay is a crazy Tara, and they're they're literally gonna run through them. Oh, you gotta let Chaos get the trick shot there. But really good play from Gijay there. He carried that second goal, and they are literally just gonna take the first game in like 45 seconds. Okay, guys, game number two. Um, so I don't. I think I would use Sandy here instead of Gene. Um, just the comps that they're running. If anything, like it's hard to say I'd sub out Max. But it depends what you want to go with, like more control or like goal scoring potential. But you, I don't see any reason why Clash would like change comps. But Coop's gonna do a good job. Oh, careful. Okay, nice, good pass. Um, they're not gonna be able. They might have been able to score off that if he just ran it down. I don't know. He's just gonna pick up super, but he wastes it. Really good play from Coop. Um, you can see he started like preemptively shooting there, and he's just gonna make Gij completely waste a super. Coop, yeah, okay. Coop's playing really well. Um, he did get a little too ambitious there, but it's hard with the Sandy super. That's why it's just so good on this map. All the grass, it'll like literally just show you where they are with rude sands, and just like enables your team to make some really good plays. Um, so really broken on this map, and just in general, I mean, <laughs> nerf Sandy, please. But Clash is in a really good spot. Gija's getting close to his super. As soon as Gija gets his super. Okay, Koop has his super. So, oh, he's going to waste it though. So, uh, oh, yeah. He kind of, I don't know if he panicked, but he did waste it. But on the other end of things, Jordan and Relly are making a play. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good pull. Okay, that was really well played from them. If they got caught there, I think 100% would have been a goal. So, really good play from them uh, just to get that goal. And kind of the 3v2, I guess all the action was on the other side, but they just snuck up the other side. So, really well played. Clash is going to get the Sandy Super down. They know where Coop is. 100%. Coop's getting solo pulled right here. Yeah. Coop's going to go down. Um... <sighs> okay, Relly is going to manage to take out um, the Tara healing thing. You're going to get... Oh, good pull. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. It's really hard. You get collapsed on really easily on this map, especially when you don't know where they are and they're running super fast with the Sandy and Max. But... On the bright side for PSG, they are really close to their supers, I think. Coop's going to pick up a super. Really big super to have here. Oh, okay. They're going to cycle the ball around. Really good play. Um, okay, what are they going to... Overtime? If they get a Sandy super, I'll give it to Clash. Otherwise, the Jean's really good in overtime. And Coop... Oh, if this thing can stay alive, that'd be really good for them for overtime too. It's going to kind of like... Oh, why would you pull there? Oh no, he shouldn't have pulled there. Can he get a super goal? No. I probably would have used my max super. Well, okay, the right play would be to use your max super to run out of the pull there. Coop definitely shouldn't have pulled there. Um, good gene pull, but I think Gij is really close to his pull at this point. Yeah, Gij Gij is gonna finish them off here. Oh, oh, okay, almost. Oh, really? He could have saved that. Oh, that's tough. Um, Clash is going to take 2 nothing. That was really well played by Clash. They were just like really patient at the end of the game. And they're now one game off from winning the first qualifiers. Okay, guys. 2 nothing Clash in Brawl Ball. They've been playing super dominant this entire time. Um, and can we, see that we can see this game that PSG is going to go with Sandy. Um, which I think it's probably the right strat. Sandy's just been... it's When you get that super with the Tara super, it's... Literally like GG for the other team. Oh no, they're gonna get taken out. You gotta, uh, he shouldn't have gone around, but it's hard with the Sandy Super and it's not looking too good for uh, the boys over at PSG right now, but they do have Sandy Super on the bright side. Coop's getting close to his pull and, um, and they'll use the Max Super, but they take EJ out. Okay, this should be a goal. This should be a goal. Let's go to, mm, he kind of rushed that. Yeah, they needed to take the Sand. Oh, oh, that was actually so close. Um. I don't know if he could have snuck it in. Gijay 
got back out there pretty quick but this could be game right here gj does have his pull coop oh okay coop picks up his pull he needs to hit oh his teammate baits him no his teammate oh why would you do that i'd be so bad if i was coop his, they just lost because of that his teammate baited him when he had his tower pull oh no i'd be i'd be so mad <laughs> clash is gonna take it off of that oh yeah that sucks bro i didn't see the end of that damn his teammate really baited him like that you can see he was going for a pull and then his teammate passed him the ball all right guys so that is going to be it for the first um offline world cup qualifiers i don't know what the official title is but it's you get points for the upcoming 2020 world cup so clash is going to get all the points this month um but you can just see like how competitive the finals were even though it was three nothing um i don't think the store score really did it justice and it was just like clash played really well this entire tournament from what i saw so congrats to clash congrats to psg2 they get a ton of points and a pretty good payout for coming in second as well i'm gonna be at the next one in april and hopefully a few more of the upcoming hopefully all of them i don't know i don't want to get cocky but i think we can make like a lot of these so i'm excited for the upcoming events hopefully they don't get canceled but um yeah congrats to clash they played super well and psg played well too just a few minor mistakes kind of cost them a few sets and games but yeah ggs to clash ggs to psg and thank you guys for watching the video i'll see you all tomorrow peace